All right, projection mappers. In this mini tutorial, we're going to look at how to do transparent backgrounds on pictures and videos. And the pictures, there's actually not a whole lot to, to share because it's it works really easily. All you need to do is find a transparent PNG. Okay, so if you're searching on Google, just try to make sure that it has a transparent background. And then once you bring that into After Effects, it takes care of the rest as long as it's transparent. So I throw this pumpkin on the canvas and it's ready to go. So there isn't a whole lot to show with that. It's, it's a, uh, a little less straightforward with, with videos. So let's look at if we have a video that we get, like if you get a video from Hauntworks, Atmos Effects, Spectral Illusions, um, they'll, they'll usually come with the different versions of the, the video, ones with backgrounds um, and others that just have a, a black background. And either of those will work fine if you're sticking them in windows or doors, but if I want to put something out on the surface here, then I want that background to be to be transparent rather than, than black or, or the background that it comes with. So like if I grab this dueling ghosts from Hauntworks, for example, shrink that down to size. Let's bring those ghosts into frame so you can see them. All right, so if we got these dueling ghosts with this black background, it might look fine in a window or on a garage door or something like that. But if I want to have it on the surface, then I want to get rid of that background, make it transparent. And there's a couple pretty easy ways that I've learned recently on how to do that. The first way that works especially good for more ethereal, ghostly effects, uh, or if it's got a bit of a glow to it, then a really easy, simple way of doing it is uh, right down here on modes. If you click the drop down on modes, there's a whole bunch of things, these settings that you can try. Each of them will have a different effect on the video. And you can see what, what it does that you get the desired effect. The one that, that we're using a lot for the Baird Manor video is screen for these kind of ghostly glowing apparitions. That one works really good. And so here you can see the Ghosts are now projected onto the wall itself. And there's some other effects that you can do on these guys too to give them a little bit more pop and glow that, that I'll do probably in another little mini tutorial. But that at its simplest form is how you can remove the background on your Atmos effects videos on your, at least the one with the black background or Hauntwork, Spectral Illusions, any of those. If it has a black background, then that's the first place that you can go to, to to get rid of it. And so we, we can do the same thing with a face for our pumpkin that we added. This is an Atmos FX jack-o-lantern. Let's put this face into frame here. Once again, I've got this big black background to it, so I can't just put it onto the pumpkin. Go to the drop down here on mode and select the screen. There we go. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward, right? getting brown to talk and things like that. Okay, so what do you do though if it doesn't have uh, a, a black background? So let me get rid of our dueling ghost here for a second and we'll add this shadow projection effect. So Mr. Chicken, I can put a link to his uh, website in here too. He's got some cool um, shadow projections that he has that you can buy. Put this in frame here. Is the right one? No, that's not the right one. I grabbed the wrong one. It's this Grave Digger one. Shrink that down to size. Get the guy in frame. And uh, he's on a side, so I'm just going to expand the properties for this video and come to rotation and I can turn him around so he's vertical. Get that a little smaller. So like the other effects, you know, you can you can start with this drop down and see if it's getting you what you want. Um, when I was playing around with this one earlier, none of them quite looked like a shadow like I wanted. And so another way that you can do it though is 
um, is to, to first change the background color from this gray to something that's a little easier to key out, um, something that you probably wouldn't normally see in the, the normal colors of your video. Uh, there's a reason why uh, videos will use that, that green background because it's something that's, that's easy to key out that you may not necessarily have that exact hue of color in, in the rest of your video. So um, we can use a, an effect within After Effects to first change that background color to the green. It's just called change the color, very intuitive. We're gonna change the gray. So I'll use the eyedropper to grab this gray color. And I'm gonna change it to green. And then let's drop down here, change the, is it hue and lightness or is it hue? No, it's hue and saturation, that's what it is. And there we go. Now we've got a green background that makes this a little easier to key out. And so now with the green background, we're going to use yet another effect called Key Light. And use the eyedropper again to choose that green background. And voila. We now no longer have that gray background that we're dealing with. We have just the, just the shadow as he's digging his grave. So those are just a, a couple ways that I found to, to do transparent backgrounds in the videos. There's probably many other ways of doing it. So those of you that have a lot more projection mapping experience than me, feel free to put in the comments other ways that you'd like to do it or other shortcuts that you found. And I'll, I'll keep doing these little mini topics, mini tutorials. And so if there's topics that you want to learn how to do in After Effects, then, then let me know in the comments. So keep haunting and we'll see you all a little later.